Welcome, this is Ichthus Aquaponics. I'm Hein, and today I'm going to give you a short tutorial around how to make your own bell siphon. Okay, so at the start, you're going to need the following tools you'll need a drill, a jigsaw, a heat gun, maybe. You'll definitely need a small um, angle grinder, and please note thickness of your blade is a masonry blade, so it's a 4mm, 5mm blade. Uh, just a normal hand hacksaw is always worthwhile. You'll need a hole saw, we use hole saws, and just a ruler. Then on the material side, what you're going to need to build is you're going to need firstly your 63mm pipe, 110mm um, pipe, your 25mm irrigation pipe or even PVC, and then you'll need an end cap for your 63mm. You will need a tank connector or any other unit that you want to use to as a seal and we've got two um, females sorry yeah male um, 25 mole connectors and lastly a 25 mole grommet let's review the theory as to the functioning of the bell siphon to understand why we're we building building it like that and the technical require um, technical details around why we're we building it so so first of all, obviously, bell siphon is for your media gravel beds. Now, a gravel bed simply is 30 centimeters high. That's the standard rule or rule of thumb that we generally use in the business. Now, in a uh, gravel bed, we've got three different zones. Your bottom zone is your min mineralization zone. Your middle zone, flood and drain. And top zone, dry. Now, the reasons why there's three zones won't be discussing in this aspect but we'll explain to you how to design your bell siphon to exactly enable this. So, first of all, obviously, we need different tools and different materials. So, for, we're going to need a tank connector or some type of seal which allows us to drain the water out of this bed. So, in the middle of the bed, I'm going to start drawing my bell siphon. We've got our seal. So, so starting with the bell, We've got a 30 centimeter 63 mm PVC pipe and my end cap. So, obviously, now to design it, so we have our dry zone. I've got a measure, 5 centimeters. So, at that point, I'm just going to go 5 centimeter, 5. Okay, that's why we're doing one more. You have to be exactly right, not 100%, but you can see there's an approximate 5 centimeter line on there. Now I want to drill holes So I've got my 110 mm PVC pipe. Um, that the length is 30 cent 35 centimeters. Okay. Roughly. You cut. You can cut differently. You can cut stripes up. You can cut a, a slit there, a slit here, a slit there, a slit there. Doesn't make a difference as long as you have enough cavities in your guard to allow the water to get, to get through. So we've now designed all three parts. We've got my guard, my bell, and my snorkel with connected to my tank connector. The one last part I'm just going to recommend is we obviously have an outlet that needs to run into an outlet pipe. At the moment I've got a short 110 mm PVC pipe to, to just depict the outlet pipe. What we're going to do here is I'm going to do connect just a female 25 volt connector to the bottom of my snorkel which I then want to put into an outlet pipe for my bell to drain. So as this water drains here on this system it needs to 
drain somewhere and run out. Okay? And that is basically what I'm going to also show. Now, to make sure it's airtight, we've got the following little parts. I've got my female connector and I've got a 25 millimeter grommet, which I'll then put over that connector and I want to cut this hole into this 110 mm pipe and push it in. So it's an airtight seal, a watertight seal, so when it drains and there is a lot of dra water draining into the pipe with other gravel beds, it won't overflow at this point. So, again back to my trusty hole saw. So, how do I assess exactly how big this must be? You'll see there's slits on the side of the grommet. I'll just select a hole saw that is slightly smaller than this grommet. So if you look at this, I've got this hole saw and a slight periphery where the grommet store kind of available to see. So let's just change. All I want to do, if this is my outlet pipe, I obviously want to drill a hole at the top of the outlet pipe to insert my grommet. So generally this will be a long, long pipe and I'll have my hole drilled where I need to have my bell siphons coming through with the outlet of the bell siphon. I'll just insert the grommet into this hole. So theoretically, bell siphon's completed. I'll have this coming through the tank, through my gravel bed at this point. This will enter my grommet. I'll have my I'll have my bell on top like that and I'll have my guard as such.